Alrighty guys, here we are jumping back into Minecraft. We're on our way to level 30 so that I can make some awesome armor. That's the plan here. So, we are expanding our wheat farm. Look how long this bad boy is. Look at this. Why are those dry? Oh well, we won't worry about that. Look how long my wheat farm is. Okay. Because what I found is the best way to get XP is through having a large collection of animals. And we've got a bunch. We've got cows, we've got sheep. I think cows must give you more than sheep. I'm not 100% sure. Next time we'll have to be more methodical. Or I could just look it up, right? I mean, I could just look it up. Hello, sheep. Do we need to thin the sheep herd? Well, some of them escaped. How about the cows? Oh my goodness. That is a lot of cow. Alright, let's jump in here. So we are... Let's see, one, two, three and a half bars away from 28. Let's see how many we get just killing these guys. Oh, now I have a question. I know that there's a, a thing called looting for your sword, which makes mobs drop extra stuff. Does that also get you extra XP? Basically the equivalent of fortune, but for killing instead of mining. That's my understanding. I've never actually tried it. But if that grabs extra XP, that might be something we need to look into. Okay, we have definitely thinned it out quite a bit. Alright, all cows come to this side. Wait, no. Sorry. All cows come to this side. Ready, set, go. Whoa. I really shouldn't walk around. I shouldn't have certain things armed when I'm in there. Let's get to bed. So guys, we're trying to get to level 30. That's the goal for this episode. And I think we're going to do it. We're at 28 and a half. Now. Oh, we want to save this leather. Put it in here. Now I'm getting a little disorganized with these chests. At some point we need to uh, organize this stuff better. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. Oh. Now we're at the eight. We got almost a full bar from that. Well, well, well. Whoops. <laughs> Can't cook the beef twice, can you? There's too many sheep. Well, no, no, no. We're going to leave the sheep alone. We're going to leave them alone. And we just need to give this wheat time to grow. So let's harvest. Let's do some harvesting. And in the meantime, let's think of something to chat about. So here's one thing I wanted to talk about because it was on my mind today. You know, I make chess videos as well. And I'm really not that good at chess. But I have to be careful saying that. Like I've said before... I'm probably better than most people, just because most people don't play, you know? So am I really better than most people? I don't know. That's debatable. But uh, the point is, I'm playing chess, and I'm, I've been stuck at a certain level for a little while now. But you know what? That's okay, right? You're supposed to be stuck. You don't just start playing chess 
and suddenly you're on the road to becoming the world champion. You know what I mean? Like, that's obviously not realistic. And it takes years to get better at chess. Or to get much better at chess. I mean, you, you do get better at chess quickly. But then it slows down. You hit a plateau. And so I need to be patient and not get discouraged. Right? So that's what I'm working on. And I, I enjoy chess even when I lose. It's really not a big deal to me. But I will say one thing. One of the re it, it does make you feel dumb sometimes. When you lose a chess game... See, here's the thing. It's not that you just lose. It's that it takes a long time for you to lose. You know? Sometimes you make a move and you know you're losing. That's, that's called a blunder. And when you see the blunder, what I tend to do is just resign. Because at that point, I'm like, okay, well, I'm losing the game. I understand why I'm losing the game. Let's learn from this and move on. But sometimes you either don't see the blunder or it's not a blunder. It's just that you missed something and, and your opponent gets an advantage and then they can build on that. And you might have no idea which move you made that cost you the game until you look back on it with a computer. And even then, half the time I don't understand it. The computer's like, yep, here's where you made a mistake. And so I look at it and I'm like, how is that a mistake? I don't get it, <laughs> you know? So that's the thing. With chess, it's not just that you're losing. It's that you are losing in a way that you don't even understand. And, you know, that definitely makes you feel a little, you know, a little mentally incompetent or whatever. I don't know how, how you would say that. Besides the obvious, it makes you feel dumb. Did you see that sheep? That sheep just attacked the, the big sheep. Did you see that? That was bizarre. Truly. Okay, I'm going to grab some of this bamboo. And... I need an axe for that. We're going to... Oh, man, we're going to bust through that axe so fast. This is for the furnace, because we've got... Oh, man, I chopped the dirt. Hey! XP farm! You're actually working! Well, let me... Let me get some XP. Look at that. That bumped us up a bit. Man, I wish that would just work more reliably, you know? Oh my gosh, no, hit hit the bamboo. All right, that's probably enough bamboo for now. Should I replant? I guess. Plant some there. I don't know why I bother. It's actually kind of annoying how I did it. They're, they're so close together that you can't really walk through it that easily. All right, good enough. I don't remember how many we knocked down. But let's bring this back to the furnace and get all that meat cooked. I wish you could turn bamboo into coal or charcoal. Wait, maybe you can. Huh, we'll give that a try. I don't think I think I did try that and it didn't do anything. The wheat is growing. So yeah, this is kind of a filler episode, or actually several in a row now, because I want to get that enchantment, and I need to be level 30. So that's what I'm doing. And it's going to take a little while, but it'll be worth it, I think. Look at that. This is a good place to stand. We can watch the wheat. We can kill some monsters once in a while. Yeah, so anyway, about chess, it's just that kind of game, you know, it does make you feel dumb, and it's not like a lot of games, like Monopoly, 
Monopoly can make people feel mad, but generally not dumb, because it's really luck. It's what you land on. And even something like, I'm trying to think of other examples, like what makes people feel dumb? I know some people feel dumb in math class, because they don't get it, right? If you don't get something, you feel dumb. But chess is even worse because you don't even know that you don't get it. You know, like with math, you know when you don't get it. You're like, okay, I don't know how to do that. With chess, you're like, I think I'm doing well. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think I'm winning. And then suddenly you lose and then you go back and review and you were never doing well. You were losing from like the fifth move and you just didn't realize it. So anyway, that's how it is for me. That's why chess makes me feel dumb. Maybe that's good, you know? Maybe it's good to have some activity in your life that keeps you humble, you know, intellectually humble. I think that's probably not a bad idea, right? Wow, go XP farm. We're getting... But see, we've gotten less from the XP farm in the whole time that I'm standing here than we did in one minute with the cows. But you do have to factor in this time. Like, we have to sit here and wait for the wheat to grow. But it's growing fast. Look at that. Very nice. Then we're going to plant... And we should be able to fill in a couple more rows with that next harvest. More monsters. I can't believe this. This is amazing. And there's a drowned right here. Twenty-nine. Wow, we are getting close. Oh, the other thing I wanted to give a little update on. Ah, sorry, I just had to have a drink of water. My workout. So I, well, I gave an update on the workout itself, but this is the day after. Today is Saturday when I'm recording this. I did my workout yesterday. And today is my rest day for walking. I don't remember if my original plan was to rest on Saturday or Sunday, but I think I might change it to Friday. Because let me tell you, my legs were tired yesterday, and not the muscles exactly, but my hips. They were really tired, and I don't know what in the workout would have affected that. I guess maybe squats and lunges do work your hips a little bit, but, oh man, I, I jumped on my farm, darn. But anyway, it was kind of hard to do all of my walking. You know, I walk around 12 miles a day. And it was hard yesterday. So maybe what I should do is walk every day except Friday, which coincides with my third workout. And I'm really, I, that that's tough. When you do that third workout and you've been doing it with only one day rest in between, you're quite tired. Or at least I am. So maybe Friday would be a good day to not walk. I mean, I'm still going to walk. Like, today I'm walking. I'm just not walking 12 miles. I'm going to walk about 5 miles. Get my 10,000 steps. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Alright, I need another sword, though. Let's make an iron sword, right? We don't want to... We don't want to use wood. Uh, wait, there's a few other things I need to do. Let's... Oh, jeez, I don't know. What, what do I drop here? Let's put these buckets back. Uno... Dos. And now we can make a sword. One. We almost need... We, we might as well do a new axe, too, right? Oh, shoot! I actually have a fresh axe. Oh, man, I didn't see that. 
Now, do I go ahead and do this? Eh, forget it. I want to get level 30 and get that armor. Whoops. Let's put the iron back. I don't want to... I don't want to tempt fate by lugging that around. Iron. And we can put all this stuff back. This is all for trading with the villagers. String goes in that chest. I remember that. Uh, wow, I've got a lot of beef. Hey, let's grab this XP. Okay, that wasn't that much. It was not that much. How about this beef? And let's put this in here. All right, all right. We're we're getting close though. We're getting close. XP farm. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. No. No, no, no. No singing. No singing of copyrighted material. Uh, what's going to what's going to grow first? The wheat or the XP from the mobs. This is getting close. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Um. Uh, sneak around this way. Let's equip our sword. Seems smarter than hitting them with a bar of iron. Although, <laughs> hitting them with a bar of iron should be pretty effective, shouldn't it? Oh man. Spiders die from the fall. Which is weird because in real life, a spider could drop that far and not die. But they're you know, obviously a lot smaller. Never mind. Makes sense. Let's hop through the portal. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to the nether yet. Not yet. Not yet, son. Anyone up there? Oh my gosh, we're so close. Come on. Come on, we need like... What is that? Okay, it's a skeleton in leather armor. I got it. I want to start collecting arrows and learning how to shoot them in Minecraft. I think that'll be useful for some monsters. Especially in the nether. Like, you know, if I get surrounded by those magma blocks, magma cubes, and I, I tower up, I can hit them with an arrow, you know? Oh gosh, we're so close. You know what? Ah, uh, I, I can't decide what to do. Let the wheat keep growing or harvest some and go to the cows. What was that? Must have been a spider. Dun dun dun. Um, I'm gonna harvest the wheat. What the heck? At least some of it. Is this a terrible idea? Maybe. Might be a terrible idea. And now we can replant. Now, how did that happen?
I saw one damaged block, not three. Suddenly, my game is kind of laggy. That's kind of weird. Oh man, this was a silly idea. I should have just harvested it all. Oh, this row is looking pretty sweet. Let's get it. Right to there. Yeah, I should at least harvest in big chunks, even if it's a little wasteful because there's still immature plants. It's better than what I was doing. Whoops. Yeah, let's keep going. This is nice wheat. Okay, and we stop. Oh, great. My inventory's full. Oh, great. We'll drop the arrow even after I gave that little speech. Drop all that junk. Okay, replant. And we're gonna have enough extra seeds for a bit of expansion. Okay. I wanna start it from the end. Okay, there we go. We got some wheat. Let's go visit the cows. Hello, cows. What are you doing in here? Get out of here. Okay. We've got a bit anyway. Definitely enough to get a couple levels, or I think. Let's see how many levels we get. This is after thinning the herd quite a bit. So we're not gonna get we're not gonna get like five levels or anything like that. Yeah, I need way more cows. Look at that, we're already at 30 and a half almost, and the cows are not even finished. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I wanna get like a thousand cows. Can you imagine? When the heart stopped flying. Then I'm going to go through and scoop up any remaining XP. Come on, everyone gets to eat. Everyone gets to eat. Okay, now we're gonna stop. Just, uh... See, I picked up some on that little trip. Okay, I think it's over. So, we shall flee. And we're level 30, guys. 30 and a half. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, where did I put my armor? There's some diamonds. There's the armor. Oh, shoot, I need lapis. Where did I put the lapis? Okay, guys. Moment of truth. Fire protection three. Is it worth it? Wait. The blast protection three. Here we go. Boom! Got it! Oh, and it gave us a bonus! Oh wow, that is really nice. That is some nice armor. Um, let's keep going. We've got more diamonds. What should I make next? I've got a diamond sword. Let's get some diamond boots. Okay, that's four diamonds. Four diamonds. Okay, let's get some pants. That gives you a lot of armor. Well, let's get some boots too, huh? Why not? 
Let's see what we have. Blast protection, blast protection, unbreaking. Useless. How about for the boots? Protection, protection, unbreaking. Protection sounds good. Protection 3 is not bad. And all we have to do is get a few levels. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're on our way. Check this out. Fire protection and unbreaking. That is really nice. Wow. We are going to be cruising through the nether in style when we get all kitted out. Now then. Now then. Whoa, hello, skeleton. Wow, he was actually kind of tough. Oh, this is not an enchanted sword, is it? Yeah. Wow, guys. The weird thing about Minecraft with enchanting is, even though he had to have 30 levels, now I'm still at level 27. It only took three away. So once you get to level 30, it's not that bad to, to do the enchantments, is it? Like, we could probably get back to level 30 in this episode if we if we keep going for much longer. Because I can go feed the sheep. You know what? Let's go feed the sheep and see how many levels we get. I'm, I'm very curious because we've got a lot of sheep up there. I thinned the cows maybe a little too much. The sheep are no joke. Look at this. That's ridiculous. It's like a sheep army. Okay, ready? So we are at 27 and it's right by the empty, the middle of the empty food bar. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna feed everybody. I'm just spamming the left trigger. Everyone gets food. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. There aren't that many of you. Well, there actually are. I don't want to completely run out of food because we do have to get out of here. So I need at least one wheat to lure them all to the corner, you know? Have you guys not been fed? Come on, I think everyone's been... Oh my gosh, I... Oh my gosh, I just messed up. Okay, we need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Oh my gosh, how do I get out of here? Where's the gate? Isn't that the gate? I can't I can't access it because the sheep are in the way. Are you kidding me? Uh what do I do? <laughs> I guess unfortunately I'm gonna have to kill some of the sheep. That should make them run away, right? The gate is somewhere around here. I can't even see it. This is so great. There it is. Okay. Well, look at that. We're almost back at 29. Uh, that's not as much as I thought. The, the cows gave me at least like two levels when I, when I had a bunch of cows. So I think cows do give you more XP. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, I think we are going to wrap it up for now, but I'm going to actually keep filming. I'm just going to divide it into a separate episode. So I'm going to end this video and I will see you next time. Bye.